Right, in this video we're going to discuss the verb ser, to be, and ir, to go, in the preterite tense. Remember that the preterite tense tells us that an action took place in the past. It took place in the past specifically, in other words, it started and stopped. The verbs ir, to go, and ser, to be, conjugate the same way. In other words, they're both equal. So when you're using this form, you have to look for context clues. But the conjugation is yo fui, tu fuiste, el ella fue, nosotros fuimos, and ellos or ellas or ustedes, y'all, fueron. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Fui. Fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. One last time. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Because ir and ser have completely different meanings, but they look identical in the preterite tense, in the past tense, you have to look for context clues. So one of the great things is that ir is almost always with a. So ir a. So in these three sentences here, fui al supermercado ayer. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Or, fuiste al supermercado ayer? Did you go to the supermarket yesterday? And then finally, fuimos al Gran Cañón el Junio Pasado. We went to the Grand Canyon. You can see that there is the A next to all of them, and therefore we know that it means to go. So I went, did you go? And we went. Given that ser means to be, one is when we look at sentences or hear sentences with, with one of the past tense that doesn't have an ah, we know that it's said. And also if, it has, uh, if it's talking about occupations or descriptors. For example, Fuiste soldado in Afghanistan el año pasado. No, you were a soldier in Afghanistan last year, right? Or fuimos miembros, we were members. Fuimos miembros del mismo equipo. One, there's no on. Two, and it's talking about occupation. So we know that those are ser. So those are really the ways that you can tell the difference or look for uh, the meaning and context. If you have any questions, you can message me on Twitter at Senor Denim, or you can comment in the space below.